the American mission in Iraq is focused on rebuilding that war-torn country. In part three of our series, Back from Baghdad, we'll show you exactly how local men and women are impacting that effort. WBOC's Eric Parker is in our Dover newsroom tonight with more. Eric, was it easy to find people from our area here? It was very easy. In fact, we saw local troops doing everything from unloading cargo planes to cooking meals. We've heard so much about the rebuilding process in Iraq, but we were surprised to find that much of that rebuilding process is being done by people from right here on Delmarva. Bravo. He's on a 180 right now. Six to seven. Air traffic controllers, some of them from Delmarva, work to lead planes in and out of Baghdad International Airport. In the months since this airport was seized by American forces, daily air traffic here has increased by 800 percent. What we do is the essential reason for the airport there. Without that, it would be a lot harder. You would get maybe a tenth of the operations a day in and out of the airport. Senior Airman Jeffrey Andrews has been deployed from Dover to Iraq since June. He's one of a group of controllers who are working hard to get this airport back in business. Now it's getting to the point where as our operations increase, more st there's more we can do. The rebuilding here is not easy. When the Americans arrived, this airport was in rough shape. Before they left, Saddam's regime did everything they could to destroy the airport. They took the radar scopes out of the control tower and even left the entire Iraqi Airlines fleet without their engines. The work extends across the airfield. Here, a group of Iraqis work to build barracks that will someday house airport workers when commercial flights resume. Nearby, debris lays right where it fell during the war. Once this field is cleaned up, the airport will be able to grow. It's always eight days a week, 24 hours, 25 hours a day. Taking advantage of the improvements at Baghdad International Airport is another group from Delmarva. Captain Michael Muka leads an aerial port squadron that is responsible for much of the cargo coming in and out of Iraq. Shipments include everything from food and mail to bulldozers and tanks. The people here know that their jobs will play a big role in the success of the American effort. We've got a former regime that is no longer here. There is no government. So we have to establish that. That's the same thing that George Washington did. That's the same thing that Thomas Jefferson did. That's the same thing Benjamin Franklin did. Without our assistance, this country would still be back where a, a tyrannical dictator tortured people. We're making sure that that will never happen again. These troops say that mission makes it much easier to spend months thousands of miles from home. And that aerial port squadron has done some amazing work just since they took over in Baghdad earlier this summer. They've moved more than 73,000 tons of cargo. On top of that, another 100,000 passengers, so they have definitely had their hands full. Now, coming up tomorrow night, we're going to take you along for a wild ride. We'll show you what it's like for pilots, many of them from right here on Delmarva, to fly into Baghdad International Airport arguably one of the most dangerous airports in the world. That's coming up tomorrow night right here on UPN 21.